Hello, hello everyone. My name is Martin Solveig. With you, Katie. With Katie. Hi. The, the beautiful Katie. And uh, we're going to enjoy this uh, golf cart interview. It's the best introduction we've ever had. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing this for a long time. Actually, uh, my, one of my hobbies is to be a, a uh, how do you say, a host, you know. So in my bathroom or in my room, sometimes I just go in front of the mirror and I pretend I'm a host in, in a TV show or something or in a spot event or something. And I'm like, I'm like doing the host. So I, I hope I did that right. Because I mean, I, I, no one actually gave me a chance to do it on a real camera. So I'm really happy that finally it happens today. My name is Martin Solveig and this is Kelly and we're here at EDC New York. I wanted to do that really tight in case you wanted to edit it. Okay, well, well that's uh, it's a very good question because actually it came to me uh, t today this thing. You get a an idea of what you're gonna play, more, more or less precise, it depends on the guys. You have like this list of tracks and you're just gonna drop them like you do in a club or whatever. But for a reason, when you're in front of all these people and everything, something happens, it's, so, it's kind of takes your breath away and you you don't have like like all of your brain available because part of it is used by enjoying the excitement of being at a party with 30,000 people and and so this is the um, and, and so there is a part of me who can't answer this question I don't even know what I'm thinking I'm like wow wow you know I'm like I don't know I and and it's really and it, it's like that for the whole show you know and then the rest of the brain of the available brain space, and mine is particularly small, so it's difficult. The rest of that is used to actually DJ. Uh -oh. That was a very long and complex answer. You'll edit it. Who's your music for? Uh, well, my music's for my mom first, uh, then, um, then it's for myself, because uh, I enjoy it, you know, and, um, and then uh, more seriously, it's actually more for the crowd uh, because that's kind of my philosophy as a, as a DJ or even a, as an artist. I, I don't really make music for myself. I like to share. I like the idea of sharing. So when you're in front of really a lot of people, it's I like to play music for the others. And you get pleasure out of that. Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. There is something a little bit sexual about that. I don't want to go into details, but I, I'm sure you figure it out, right? What's your motto? Um, is, uh, my motto is, if there is a firework or something amazing happening, watch it and enjoy it. <laughs> How fortuitous. Who or what is the greatest love of your life? I have a lot of love for downtown LA. Uh, I have a lot of love for the Eiffel Tower, of course, because that's my home city. And, uh, and actually, you know, I have a lot of love for the United States and it's super cheesy to say that, but it's, it's, it's really true. And whenever I go to the immigration and, uh, and I arrive and I, you know, it's so serious and the guy in the immigration is like so serious and says, what's your visa and what are you doing and everything. And I'm like, I'm a DJ and I'm coming to DJ and I'm having fun. And you know, I feel, I feel really blessed to have this opportunity to live my dream, my passion in this beautiful country. Okay, the, you, I, I think you won't keep, this is like the cheesiest thing I ever said, but it's true, it's true. It's coming from the bottom of my heart, okay. How do you deal with stress? I tend to have less stress now, um, but I still have some and uh, I mean, I try, I just try to say things like, we don't give a shit and everything and, and the, 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 the truth is that I do give a shit uh, about, about, for example, uh, I, I just played a set here and I really fuck up one mix that I should not have, but I, but I have because something didn't start. I made, a, I made a mistake, a technical mistake, and it didn't start the right way. And it kind of, you know, it, w when it was supposed to be an up, it became a down and it was like not cool. And it, it pissed me off. Uh, I, I used to be a very anxious person, but uh, I'm less and less because uh, I just learned from friends like Skrillex to say I don't give a fuck. That's a good answer. What do you do on your days off? Ah! 
Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, you know, as a prof as a professional host and a professional uh, guy who answer interviews, I can't work in these conditions. So we need to just leave. And Are you out of this bucket? Right. Uh, on, on my days off, I cook, I ski uh, when it's winter, uh, I run, I walk, I, l I read, uh, I, uh, I read the most boring thing, it's so funny. Uh, I have a degree in economics and I read like the economic paper. It's like, so and it's so funny because every time I'm in the plane, I feel like my entertainment is to read the economic pages and then I go back to making music on Ableton, you know, when all the people are like bored with the economic pages and then they go back to their, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's like, it's funny. What do you do on your day off? I go for hikes. Yeah. Oh my God, hikes are so popular. Are you from LA? Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, you had to be, you had to be, you couldn't be from New York. Someone from New York would never have said that. Hikes, hikes are just for guys in LA. Like, I know, I know that the, you need to know. Okay, in case you don't live in LA, uh, if you're in LA, you want a date. You don't, you don't, you don't go. You don't do coffee. You don't do drinks. You don't do anything. You do hike. You do. You say, let's go hike. And, and, and it's like, it's actually, it's actually super awkward if you think about it. But okay, that's LA style. So just do it. Uh. Are, are you looking for more things that I do on my days off? Of course, yes. I go to the farmer's market. Uh, okay. I go to museums. I read books. I see my friends. Okay. Uh, we, we are very close, right? You and I. We, we have the same kind of hobbies. <laughs> except, except, except maybe for tennis and economic pages, but I can get rid of that. <laughs> you don't have to lose it. Okay. That's, I respect that about you. Is there anything else you'd like to confess? No, oh, I don't think so. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure about the hair though, but it's... Uh, the hair is perfect. Oh, okay. If you say so. I mean, next time I will take shades because uh, the, the sun is killing me, but... Uh, well, next time we do this, we'll be better prepared. Yeah. We'll do it in, in LA and then we go for a hike. <laughs>